All right, some classic grooves from a classic drummer that, again, really changed the game. He's one of these game changers. Steve Gadd from Rochester, New York. Man, the first time I heard Steve Gadd was on a Chuck Mangione album, and then Chick Corea, The Leprechaun, and so many, 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 many more. The Asia Steely Dan drum solo. It just goes on and on and on. 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover. I mean, it. Steve Gadd definitely changed the game. So what I'd like to do, you can't talk about all the Steve Gadd grooves, but one of the things that struck me first about Steve Gadd was he obviously really had a handle on rudiments. All of that, five stroke rolls, Crazy Army. I don't really know Crazy Army, but it's kind of that uh, funky sort of, a lot of wide flams and rolls. The way he played that classic cowbell gad groove. That right there, that little six stroke roll kind of thing, I tell drummers that I'm pretty sure it's right, left, left, right, left, right, bass. Right, left, left, right, left, right, bass. So let's write that out. I had some students years ago and I called it the follow the yellow brick road. Like they said, what? I said, follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick, follow the yellow brick, follow the yellow brick road. If ever a wonderful witch there was, a little of Oz, but the Wizard of Oz, anyway. So, Gad, Steve, he has a first name. Steve Gad, Italian like a Dom Famularo, David Garibaldi, Jeffrey Porcaro, Terry Bozio, why are so many great drummers Italian? Anyway, we're gonna go right, left, left, right, left, right, bass. That's the overall formula. But da, 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 da. So we'll go accent, right, left, left, right, left, right, bass. So triplet, triplet, bucket the kakodogum. Follow the yellow brick road. Right, left, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, left, right, left, right, bass. Now, if you were to continue, you could just do this. You could erase the old R, pull this down into bass drum land, bonk, and make it a bass. Bass left, left, right, left, right. Bass left, left, right, left. Like a six note pattern like that. So there's the one that starts with the right. And then there's the one that's just a continuous start with the bass drum. You can also start with the right and then break into bass drum every time. But there are so many gadisms. I've heard it called gadisms. Take the 50 ways to leave your lover, five stroke roll concept. I don't actually know the exact sticking and the exact, I'm not so much of an exact transcription guy as I am a overall concept guy. So this. Right, right, left, right, left, I think. And a five stroke roll, right, right, left, left, boom, into the bass drum. Another gadism, right foot with the hat. Right, left, left foot. When I first heard the song, Chucky's in love, Ricky Lee Jones.
I started messing around with that because of what I heard Steve Gadd do on Chucky's in Love. Buy that song by Ricky Lee Jones, Chucky's in Love, Steve Gadd on drums. Play along with it. Chucky's in Love by Al Jarreau, Roof Garden. Does anyone want to go waltzing, dancing in the garden? Does anyone want to go dance up on the roof? Oh. So what I think that is, is bass drum with the high hand. Bass drum with the high hand stick. Left, left foot. So I'll play and just improvise on stuff. I was turning that into a triplet. But that lick right there, to me, that's a gadism. There are so many gadisms. Like the way he played sambas, you know? When I was in college, I just knew that was kind of an Americanized fusion samba with the feet. And then I hear albums coming out with Steve Gadd playing unison hands together over that. Even on the end of the Asia solo. Ba, ba, ba. So, so many different grooves like that. Another one that I remember is it sounded like he was playing quarter notes with his feet. So, I know that's not a real authentic Afro-Cuban cowbell type pattern, but it's a gadism. These are gadisms. He's listened to all these different kinds of music, styles of music, everything from Elvin Jones to Tony to funk stuff and James Brown and you name it and rudimental stuff, and he's incorporated that into his own playing. So check out Steve Gadd, one of the game changers and one of my dear friends. Check out Steve Gaff.